Today on our 2018 Chrysler Pacifico, you're going to be taking a look at, I'm going to show you how to install, the Draw Tight Class 3 Max Frame Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number 76046. That's what our hitch looks like when it's installed. As you can see, the cross tube is completely hidden behind the bumper fascia. The only thing we're really going to see is our receiver tube and our added on plate here for our wiring accessories. This is going to be a Class 3 hitch. It's going to be a 2 inch by 2 inch. Hitch pin hole is going to be 5 8 inch in diameter. It's going to take a standard 5 8 inch hitch pin. You can find one on our website using part number PC3. The smaller hole towards the back here is for a J-pin stabilization device only. What that does is takes the shaking plate out of any of your hitch mount accessories. Again, that part does not come with a hitch. However, you can find one of those on our website. Also, we're going to have plate style safety chain loops. It's going to give us plenty of room for different size safety chain hooks. As far as our weight capacities go with this hitch, we're going to have a 675 pound max tongue weight, which is a downward pressure on the inside of the receiver tube. We're going to have a 4,500 pound max trailer weight, which is a trailer plus anything loaded on it. I do recommend checking the owner's manual of your Pacifica to make sure the vehicle can withstand that amount of weight. I'm going to pick the lowest number between the vehicle and the hitch. Now this hitch is rated for weight distribution. Tongue weight is going to stay the same. However, your trailer weight is going to go up to 5,000 pounds. As far as the installation goes, it's pretty straightforward installation. I do recommend getting an extra set of hands to help hold the hitch into place until you get your hardware in. Now let's give you a few measurements to help you when deciding on any hitch mount accessories you may need. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost part of the bumper, it's going to be about 5 inches. From the ground to the top innermost part of the receiver tube, going to be about 12 inches. Now let's show you how to get this installed. First thing we need to do is start by removing our underbody panel. We're going to have six, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight millimeter head bolts that run across the back and then down our driver's fender there. Take an eight millimeter socket to remove them. We'll have three eight millimeter head bolts in our fender well. We'll use socket wrench with the 8mm socket. We'll take a 10mm socket. We'll have five plastic nuts here. We'll have two 10mm head bolts here. And then we'll have two more 10 millimeter plastic nuts here. And we'll take a large flathead screwdriver. We're going to have two of these. Now, one thing about these is if you turn them, they may not come loose. So with our panel loose here, kind of reach up and put just a little bit of downward pressure on it. And we'll do the same thing with this one here. Now we'll go ahead and remove our panel, set it aside. We're gonna to need to trim it later on. We're gonna to need to lower our exhaust. Before doing that, we're gonna use a safety strap. I like to hook mine and just hook it to the spring. You can hook it anywhere that it's going to uh, support our exhaust. We're gonna have two hangers we're gonna to need to remove. We're gonna be taking this one off and we're going to have another one right here. We're going to take some lubricant. Go ahead and spray our hanger down. If you don't have lubricant, soapy water works just as well. Take a pry bar and just pry that off. We're going to have one more we're going to remove. It's towards the front of the vehicle a little bit more. Go ahead and spray that down just like we did the other two. We need to remove our heat shield. We're going to have two more 10 millimeter plastic nuts. We're going to have one here. And you're going to have one right back here. Pull the heat shield down. We're going to trim our heat shield. You can see the section that I have marked out for our instructions. 
you measure from here up to get your measurement. We're going up, per our instructions, 11 inches. And then we're just gonna cut off this whole section. I'm gonna use some aviation shears or tin snips. Next we can go ahead and reinstall the remaining portion of our heat shield. Next we're gonna install our hardware. We're gonna be using this hole, this hole, and this hole. In your kit, you're gonna get some pull wires like this, some carriage bolts, and you're gonna get two different size spacer blocks. We're gonna have a couple of shorter ones and a couple of longer ones. We're gonna start with our shorter spacer blocks. We're gonna be going into this hole. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the spring end of our wire, we're gonna feed it through here, and we're gonna come out here. Just like that. Put your spacer block on. Make sure you hold on to your wire so you don't pull it through. Thread it on. Thread your bolt on your pull wire. Push your spacer block up in first. Then you're gonna push your bolt up inside. You're gonna pull it out like that. You're gonna do the same thing here using a short spacer block. And for the last hole, we're gonna use the longer spacer block, carriage bolt, pull wire. We're gonna go ahead and thread our bolt onto our pull wire. This time we're gonna do a reverse pull, so we're gonna do it a little bit different. We're gonna push our bolt in the hole first, then our spacer block, and just pull it back down. And then we're gonna repeat this process on the passenger side. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our hitch, we're gonna slide it up onto our exhaust on our passenger side. We're gonna allow our exhaust to hold it up. We're gonna take our pull wires on our driver's side, put them in the corresponding holes. Slide it up in place. Remove pull wire. Take a conical tooth washer, you're gonna make sure the teeth are facing towards the hitch. Put it on, and then a nut. Now we'll go ahead and install one of our nuts and washers on the passenger side to help hold our hitch in place while we install the remaining hardware. Next we'll use a 22 millimeter socket and tighten all of our hardware. And we're going to torque our hardware to the specifications and the instructions. Now we'll reinstall our exhaust. Remove the pull strap or support strap. Next we're going to trim our underbody panel. We're going to measure in six inches. This is about right to this top section here. We're going to go straight across, which is going to come out to 32 inches. It's going to come right to the inside of this, this clip here. Just like that. I'm just going to use a utility knife because this is just cardboard. And reinstall your underbody panel. That'll do it for a look at an installation on the Draw Tight Class 3 Max Frame Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number 76046 on our 2018 Chrysler Pacifica.